welcome. My name is Estelle and today I'm bringing you a lovely thrift flip, transforming thrifted shirts into a beautiful patchwork dress. If you watched my last video, you will know I spent two weeks sewing an entire summer wardrobe for my sister's birthday. Well, soon it's gonna be my birthday and I want some new clothes too. This time I will not make a whole wardrobe, but I do want to give myself a dress I've been dreaming to sew for a long time. It will be just the perfect outfit to wear on my birthday. I wanted this dress to feel like a mix of Phoebe Buffet's charm, Phoebe Landstrom playful spirit and a Rietis bedroom style. Something fun, quirky and colourful, but still wearable and fancy for the occasion. As you will see, the final piece kind of captures this aesthetic, but mostly it looks as if Tinkerbell has embraced cottagecore, and I love it. This is not the first time I've made something out of fifted shirts. Shirts are my favorite thing to thread. Some months ago, I made this heartwarming patchwork blanket. For this dress, I gathered a collection of seven second-hand shirts in different patterns but with a green palette. Green is my favorite color, but surprisingly I don't have many items of this color in my wardrobe. I bought most of these shirts on my local thrift store on sale day, so I can get them for 1 or 2 euros. The rest are all shirts that my mother-in-law gathered for me. She knows I love to give new life to old clothes, so she sometimes saves some more clothes that are going to be thrown away because they are stained or torn. For the pattern of this dress, I saved on Pinterest some ideas, but mostly I was inspired by this dress that I thrifted in Thailand. This was only 50 cents in a second-hand market. I used the Thai dress as a reference to figure out how it's sewn, but I will make my dress longer, as this one is a bit too short. Looking at the dress, I could figure out it's made out of rectangles and instead of gathering the stripes, it has splits on every rectangle. The reverse side of the skirt doesn't have lining, they just overlock the seams and it looks fine, I will do the same. The top does have a lining and an elastic band, plus elastic thread all around it. I might try to make this in another project, I've never used elastic thread. If you have any advice on this matter, I would love to hear it. Step 1 of this project was to prepare the fabric pieces. I started by saving the buttons and unstitching the shirts, and cutting the shirts into large rectangles. I'm going to need 40 pieces for the skirt, 6 for the first row, 8 for the second, 12 for the third, and 16 for the fourth. Don't worry about them being perfect, the charm of patchwork lies in its imperfections, that's why I love patchwork so much. I have a tendency to want to have everything under control, so making crafts that can be imperfect is my way of escaping this behavior. In the end, it's impossible to have everything under control, and for me, trying to do so causes more stress than it's worth. While it's practical to be controller in order to avoid losing your wallet, steer clear of getting robbed in the subway or finishing projects on time, constantly overthinking these scenarios can be exhausting. A more relaxed person might only think about these possibilities if they happen, whereas overthinkers mentally rehearse every potential catastrophe, trying to feel in control. As a result, we endure the imagined consequences, while the carefree person happily goes about their day, blissfully unaware if their wallet is about to fall out of their pocket. They simply live in the moment, and I think this may be a healthier approach in life. Anyway, it took me a whole afternoon, but I had my pieces. Then I laid them out in the order I'd like them to appear on the skirt. This is where you can get creative and play with different color combinations. The next day, I could start sewing. I 
First, I took two rectangles and placed them right sides together. Then I made a stitch along the edge with seam allowance. This is quite easy. You just have to continue adding pieces and sewing them together to form strips. I'm pressing the seams flat as I go and then zigzag the edges to keep everything neat. After you've done all your strips, in my case 4, sew them together to create the skirt of the dress. Each row is longer than the last, so you'll need to make the pleats to fit. I found this technique easier than gathering. At this point, I was beginning to get a sense of what the dress would look like and I was very excited. I'm looking forward to wearing it on my birthday. My partner has planned a surprise getaway, so I have no idea where I'll be celebrating. But I'm hoping it's somewhere perfect for showcasing this dress. Fun fact about my birthday, I was born on August 12th, a day that holds a special kind of magic. Every year, on this very night, the sky comes alive with the dazzling display of the Perseid meteor shower. My mother, inspired by this celestial wonder, chose to name me Estelle, which means star in Catalan. She believed that, just like the meteors, I was destined to bring a little bit of light and wonder into the world. Do you have a name inspired by your birth date or something special from your mother? I'd love to hear your stories. I was doubtful about how to make the top of the dress. In my first sketch, I draw both ties on the shoulders. But seeing it already has too much going on with the seven fabrics, I think it would look too overloaded. I had these green straps that were too small to use for the rectangles, so I saved them to make two straps with it. For the bust, I decided to follow the style of the skirt, but with the rectangles twice as small. So it matches, but at the same time, it stands out a bit. The pattern of the top is a simple rectangle, like in the tie dress. This was quite fast to make. I tried it on and I loved how it looked without the straps, so I went for it. 
I just had to add the lining and an elastic band on the top to secure it won't fall down with the weight of the skirt. Finally, I needed to make a seam on the bottom of the skirt and I sew one part to the other. And there you have it! A one-of-a-kind patchwork dress made entirely from second-hand shirts. I love how each piece tells a story and comes together to create a main character vibe dress. This dress is a boost of serotonin, makes me smile every time I look at it. As I said at the beginning of the video, it ended up looking as if Tinkerbell had embraced Cottagecore. Or is it Cottagecore March? <laughs> Anyway, thank you for staying until the end. Adeu!